if you have been assigned 8.4 reteach or are needing more practice or review on evaluating algebraic expression, then be sure to follow along with this video. So evaluating an algebraic expression is very much like doing one with just numbers, except the first thing we have to do is substitute the values of the variables into the equations or the expressions. So we have to write them, then plug in the variables, then we can find the value of the expressions. So we still have to use the order of operations. So I love to write out the word gems here. So I need to look for my groups. Do I have anything in parentheses? And even inside the parentheses, you still have to follow order of operations. So even inside the variable, you are still, or inside the parentheses, you are still going to, if there's exponents inside the parentheses, you'll still do those first. If there's adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing, you still have to multiply and divide before you can add and subtract. So even inside the parentheses, you follow this rule. So after you've done all of your groups, then you check for any exponents and do those. Now remember, if it says four to the second power, that is not four times two. That is four two times. Then we multiply and divide left to right. So if the problem said to do 42 divided by seven times three, Lots of us want to go and multiply first because it says multiply and divide, but it says multiply and divide from left to right. So as we're reading it, this is the first multiply or divide problem we come to. So we're going to do 42 divided by seven first. Then we add and subtract, same thing, left to right. So let's go ahead and try a few problems here to practice. So the total cost for purchasing S sandwiches at $4 each and D drinks at $2 each can be written as four S's and seven D's. So every sandwich is $4. And oh, I think that they want to make this a two and $2 per drink. So we're not sure how many sandwiches we're going to buy, but every sandwich is $4. And we don't know how many drinks we're going to buy, but every drink is $2. So now it tells us the soccer team got nine sandwiches. So remember, this is not 49. It's four times nine, four groups of nine. Tells us our sandwiches. And then they got seven drinks for $2 each. Two times seven tells us our drinks. What is our total cost? So we plugged in our variables. So now we have to use gems. So we don't have any groups. We don't have any exponents. So we're looking for multiply or divide left to right. So we're reading, oh, here's a multiply problem. So go ahead and figure out four times nine and then bring everything else down. So four times nine is 36 plus two times seven. So we need to ch keep checking for any multiply or divide. So here's a plus sign, so we're ignoring that right now. Oh, here's a multiply problem. Let's go ahead and do two times seven and then bring everything else down. Two times seven is 14. We're bringing down the 36 plus. So now we don't have any more multiply or divide. So our last problem is to do 36 plus 14. So go ahead and try 36 plus 14. And that is $50. So the soccer team spent $50 to get nine drinks and seven sandwiches. So let's try one more today. So the perimeter of a rectangle can be written as two groups of L plus two groups of W. So here's our rectangle. I need two W's and we need two L's. L is the length, W is the width. 
So we have a rectangular black top at the beachfront middle school that is 45 yards long. So L is 45. So we have two 45s and it's 35 yards wide. So we have two 35s. So let's go ahead and try and plug in 45 and 35. 45 is L, 35 is W. Now remember, this is not two, four, five. This is two groups of 45. So make sure you get those multiply signs in there. So go ahead and write that expression out. So we have two groups of the L's plus two groups of of means multiply the 35s. So we want to follow our gems here. So we write that out so we can remember. So we don't have any groups. We don't have any exponents. So we're looking for multiply or divide left to right. So we just read across. Oh, here's a multiply problem. So go ahead and try 45 times two. So pause the video and do that. So 45 times two is 90, and then we bring everything else down. So now we're looking across, still looking for multiply and divide. Oh, here's one here. Let's go ahead and pause and do two times 35. So two times 35 is 70, bring everything else down. And our final problem is 90 plus 70 is 160 yards. So their playground, you walk all the way around it would be 160 yards. Okay, so go ahead and try your reteach for today. And if you need any help, be sure to let me know.